Well, hey, Tubes. I didn't see you all standing there, or should I say sitting comfortably in your uh, computer chairs. Well, I see you've uh, came to visit, and I'm just out here working out in my garage, and uh, as you can see, the old messy uh, man cave, I should say. Well, today I'm going to try to make my catfish jug. And no, for you perverted mind people out there, I am not going to try to sew boobs on a catfish, which, no, I'm not going to do that. But anyhow, just just joking. Um, my father-in-law told me he made some catfish jugs, and he used PVC pipe and a pool noodle. Well, I was sitting there thinking, I think I've got some uh, PVC pipe out back behind my garage. So I went out there yesterday, I think it was, and I found it. And it's just too hot. So tonight was kind of a cool night. So I came out here and pissed around. And I actually cut, kind of hard to see, I actually cut a about 17 inch piece, maybe 18 inch piece of, uh, hell, I don't know, half inch, full inch, I don't know. But now if I could just find my full noodle, full noodles that I've already cut up, I should be able to together and make a catfish. And so, as I was going to say, if I can find it, I'll tell you guys. But I don't know if I'm going to find it. We'll just have to see. see what happens. Let's see what's going on. Well, so, uh, as you can tell, I don't have my um, catfish noodle here in my hand. So right here, so the magic of YouTube and a shaky cameraman. So the magic of YouTube and a shaky cameraman, we're going to say, there it is. Okay, that was a little cheesy, but hey, you got to try it with what I've got. So this is what some guy here on YouTube told me to do. He said, to make a proper catfish noodle, to use a pool noodle, or I should say jug, whatever. You don't really drink milk out of this, but hey, you could. It'd be like a big ass straw. Okay, but anyhow, um, he said, put a broken ink pen through one side, and the catfish won't rip it out but I have a feeling I've seen some pretty big catfish and I have a feeling they will so my father-in-law told me to take a piece of uh, let's see if I can do this one-handed a piece of PVC whoa, PVC pipe and kind of give her the old heave-ho down through uh, just like that now that's like I don't know, 10 times bigger than what I wanted it to be, but, you know, shit works out kind of weird. So I'll probably trim it off so it's like that. Nope, nope, nope. Take it back, tubes. Hold on. All right, we'll shove it out. About like that, which you can't really judge the distance, but I'd say that's about a quarter inch sticking out of the end. And drill a... a uh, pilot hole through both sides then take a carter key which I do not have right now then I'll take a carter key and shove through the end of it through the holes that you drilled with a washer on the end of it so it kind of look like this see how that works okay the washer which is just a, I don't know, maybe a sixteenth of an inch, which it looks bi bigger on the video, but it's about a sixteen inch, sixteen inch, sixteenth of an inch thick piece of plastic out of an old milk jug. And my quarter key is a piece of uh, chain link fence. I put some muscle in behind it and bent it into a weird looking E maybe or some sh I don't know. Then I took another smaller piece and just shoved it through, just a little piece of uh, 
binding wire or belling wire, whatever you guys want to call it. And that kind of keeps it from, you know, coming up higher right there. And then he said take a key ring, one of them ones you kind of pull apart and slide your key through. He said take one of them and drill, which you can see my pilot holes here. I drilled two of them straight through. But he said take a key ring and stick at the end which I did there. Now if you can see that you would have to get a 700 million pound catfish to rip that out of that hole. That is probably I'd say an eighth of an inch drilled upwards into the, the pole not all the way through and that's where I tied my uh, line down. See? I mean, you, you, you can't rip that out. That right there, you cannot rip out of there. You may be able to break the line, but this is a 13-pound test line, which don't make no sense to me because I have a 100-pound test line on one of my fishing poles that's a hell of a lot smaller than this, but then again, you're thinking about braided line and nylon. So, um, Here's the key ring right here. Like I said, it's kind of hard to see, but you get the general idea that they're one of them key rings that you uh, pull apart and slide your key, you know, through like that. And then you have your wash washer end down here holding. Well, that looks like a rip. It's not. It's the line or the wire, I mean. But it's holding it all in there like this. So as the fish pulls on it like this and makes the jug as it's floating in the river it'll sit there and pull it like this and it'll pull it around and when you know you got a uh, fish on there it'll jerk it up like this and sit here and bob just like a uh, bobber on the end of your fishing pole and that's when you take your boat which if our rivers would ever come up any but you take your boat and go collect his ass and then hopefully you've got a catfish and not a gar. Now, I've heard people like gar, but I'm not one of them people. So, anyhow, tubes, that's what I did. And I'm going to make uh, a few more of these. Oh, and this, because uh, this, here in where I'm from, in Indiana, you have to have your name on your fishing jugs. I don't know why, probably if they get lost or, you know, if, if they happen to find a fish that's been on there for like three days or something, they can fine you for it. You know, everybody's looking for new taxes to get somebody, you know, can't just leave us alone, but you know what I mean. But anyhow, you got to put your name and phone number and all that shit on here. Well, I've noticed these uh, milk jugs, you can write on permanent marker as long as they're dry. You can write your name and all that on here, but I advise you to actually write your fishing license ID number on here because you you don't want to be sitting there at like four o'clock in the morning and have some deranged idiot call you and ask if you want to buy his pony or so on you know which I don't really think there would be too many deranged idiots out in the middle of a pond but hey you never know but anyhow, go ahead and write your identification number across here and, you know, maybe write it big enough that if a game warden or a DNR officer or whatever you guys may have in your states happens to see this, they can pick it up and they'll see your number going across that like that and all they got to do is radio it in and they'll give you everything from your, your name, your age, uh, sex, all that. You know, even probably what you had for breakfast, which... I'm pretty sure they they can do that. So, uh, but just go ahead and write your identification number on here, and uh, like I said, go ahead and make you uh, make you a catfish noodle, and have fun with it. I haven't have not tried mine yet, but I've been anxious to get out there and do it. But the river here, it's too low, and I drag ass in my boat, and I don't feel like spending five six hundred dollars for a new lower unit on my uh outboard motor so i think i'm gonna wait 
until the river comes up at least three foot so I can get in these ponds and I'm going to drop in a bunch of these and I'll do a video and see what we can catch. You know, because I like taking you guys along with me and doing stuff, you know. That's one of the main reasons. Here, let me turn the camera around. It's one of the main reasons why I do YouTube videos because I think it's fun. I don't get paid. Um, so I just do it for the fact that it's fun to have you guys with me and the stuff we do. You know, I mean, I've done a lot of crazy stuff that I wished I had a camera with me for, but I didn't. So we're going to go ahead and end the video here. If you like it, subscribe. Uh, like it. Push that little like button. Share it on Facebook. Uh, whatever you guys want to do with it. But you're more than welcome to give me a sub and see what I'm up to next. Like I said, I do a lot of crazy shit. So sometimes I don't have my camera with me because I don't want to ruin my phone. I pay too much money for this phone to drop it in the river or whatever. But... As soon as the river comes up, we'll all go on a fishing trip and see what we can catch. Maybe we'll do some uh, trolling off the back, find our location, throw in some jugs, sit back and see what we can catch. Well, until next time, Tubes, hopefully we'll find something good to do. So until next time, talk to you later. Give me a sub, whatever you want to do, like this film. You know, it's all for you guys, so... Have at it. Have a good day. Talk to you guys later, Tubes.